Breathing brings the character to life. But since we breathe without thinking, it is easy to forget how complex it is. Respiration results in postural changes, and non-rigid deformations of the body. These deformations vary between people, and with different activities, and even convey information about emotional state. We propose a model of breathing that can be used to animate any body shape realistically. We take a data-driven approach. To learn a model of shape and pose variation during respiration, we captured 58 subjects breathing, resulting in nearly 3,000 detailed 3D meshes. Each subject was asked to breathe normally, mainly with the stomach, and mainly with the chest. Body shape was captured using a stereo-based 3D scanner that freezes the breathing motion, producing static scans of a dynamic process. The first step to modelling breathing is to bring all the scans into correspondence with a single template mesh. Here, we see two of the training scans corresponding to different people in green and the template mesh in pink. The template deforms to accurately fit the scan, as seen by the high frequency interleaving of scan and template. We align all the subjects to the same template, putting all scans of all subjects in correspondence. Given breathing deformations for each subject, we compute the statistics of breathing shape change in our population. Consider a single subject. We compute their mean pose and shape. We then compute the deviation of each training mesh from the mean. These deviations correspond to changes due only to breathing. We first consider pose variation. The body is represented by parts that undergo rotation during respiration. Here, we see the average pose and deviations from the average for one subject. Using the pose deformations for all subjects, we perform principal component analysis to obtain a low-dimensional statistical model of pose variation during breathing. We correlate the coefficients with breathing volume. Here, we show the PCs most correlated with breathing. The first principal component accounts for the rocking of the upper torso. The second component captures changes in shoulder posture. We vary the pose through plus and minus six standard deviations from the mean pose. Higher order components capture other features of pose variation during breathing. Now we consider shape variation. The first principal component largely captures shape deformation of the chest. Perhaps surprisingly, chest motion is more up and down than in and out. The second component captures shape change in the stomach region. Higher order components capture more detailed features, including some related to individual body shape. The key physiological parameters affecting respiration are the motion of the diaphragm and the volume of air in the lungs. Relating these to shape and pose changes would provide a model that could be animated. Unfortunately, neither is directly observable. What is observable is mesh volume. Since the only thing changing the volume of the training meshes over time is respiration, we can use mesh volume as a proxy for lung volume. And while we can't observe the diaphragm, we can observe different breathing types that vary in the amount of chest and stomach deformation. We assess the breathing type of each subject by comparing the volume change of the chest and stomach regions. We then relate this type parameter to observed breathing deformations. We now have all we need to model breathing. We start with training examples, with known breathing type and volume, as well as the corresponding linear coefficients describing pose and shape deformation. We learn a non-linear function relating the breathing controls to the pose change and deformation. We learn separate models for men and women because we found a statistically significant difference in their postural changes during respiration. The upper body of females moves more. Interestingly, shape deformations were the same for men and women. The simplest temporal model of respiration varies long volume as a sinusoidal function of time. Here, we animate the same mesh breathing with varying types, from 20% chest breathing to 80% chest breathing. Notice the difference in chest and stomach motion. We fix the type and apply periodic breathing to subjects of different shape and gender. The model generalizes to very different body shapes. One can vary shape and pose, pose only or shape only. Greater realism comes from varying both. We can vary the amplitude of the volume change, producing different effects. And we can vary the frequency of breathing, to create the impression of different emotions. Breathing in real life does not always follow a pure sinusoidal function. It varies with activity and emotion. We use a device called a spirometer, which measures change in airflow to capture the breathing pattern of a breath actor. Like a voice actor, the breath actor observes an animation and acts out the breathing that fits the action. The recorded volume changes are used to animate our model. Here, we see an example of a model breathing, like he is yawning and mainly using his stomach. Here, the actor is surprised, and we animate a 3D mesh performing chest breathing. 
To verify the veracity of the animation, we scanned a subject to obtain their body shape and videotaped them breathing. A breath actor simulated breathing for the scene on the left to produce the animation on the right. Our breathing model is trained using people breathing in a standing pose, but it can also be applied to bodies in other poses. For example, the seated body on the left is static. On the right, it is animated using only shape deformation. We clearly see the chest and stomach moving in a natural way. The colour coding describes the distance between the surface on the left and on the right. The same approach works for dynamic motions. Here, the left mesh is animated without breathing, and the right with breathing. With more dramatic motions, breathing may be harder to see, but even in this running example, people are able to correctly detect that the model on the right is breathing. We have defined a new model of breathing that is learned from training data. Since it is learned from nearly 3,000 detailed 3D scans, it captures realistic shape deformations. It provides simple and intuitive animation controls, and generalizes to new body shapes, poses, and motions.